When it comes to learning new pieces, doing each hand separately may give you a sense of accomplishment in the beginning, but this is actually counterproductive. If you were to learn how to juggle, you wouldn't learn hands separately because they need to work together. Welcome back to Joy of Practicing. My name is Ferdi Talan. In piano playing, there is a coordination that needs to happen between the hands. They communicate and signal each other. Learning hands separately will get each of your hands to know what to do by its own, but not necessarily with each other. And when it comes time for you to put them together, it usually takes much longer for them to connect. Let me give you an example from my personal pitfall. When I started learning this, I was already familiar with the concept of learning hands together. So I did start it that way. But then my left brain intercepted and said, ah, that's enough. Let's go learn the right hand better, which has more notes anyway. To which I discovered later that my early learning efforts were not integrated yet. In the end, I had to redo the whole etude and make sure that both hands know where to cue each other. In this etude, the role of melody and accompaniment is reversed, which makes it even more challenging to coordinate between the hands. We are so much used to having it the other way around, where the left hand cues the right hand. Here, you really need to make a conscious effort to figure out which part of the right hand is cueing the left hand, on top of switching the balance between the hands. Let's go over it. This. this C is telling me when this B is coming in. So and then I can feel that the A and the C are actually together afterwards. See? Just again. So my left hand is knows when to go and my right hand goes in the C over here. Same here. And you know that they're they're doing opposite movement, but they're together. Are some of the ways that you could practice this. But really make sure that you're on each note before you play them. Also do it the other way around. In the situation when the hands mirror each other like this one. This is my key movement. Yeah, so in before the thumb and out after the thumb. Remember 
to be patient with yourself. Everyone has their own timing and learning processes. Comparing yourself with anybody that is not you is going to bring frustration. Set realistic goals that you can achieve and track your progress. It is sometimes hard to feel growth when you have your mind on the finished product. But small progress, whether you feel it or not, is still growth. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content of this channel. And if you have any questions regarding the topics or if you have any suggestions for topics to discuss, please write me at joyofpracticing at gmail.com. My name is Ferdi Talan. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.